Hey, Gok45 here. And hey, what are y'all doing here? Oh, you came to watch some shooting, I'll bet. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some big game. Guess what with? For those of you who are not my relatives in Kentucky, you already read the title. It is a Glock 20 big game hunt. Right, we haven't done it with a Glock 20. And I thought it would be a lot of fun. I even brought out the, the hotter ammo from Federal, the uh, uh, 180 grain trophy bonded, jacketed soft point. I've got the, what, five magazines loaded. And then I, I don't know whether I'll need it. I've got some extra here. I tell you what, if I'm opening all these boxes and reloading magazines, you won't be impressed with my shooting. Let's put it that way. But I guess we need to bring them all down, right? I mean, that's what we do in the big game hunts. We've got to get them all down. It could, it could end up me running over there and kicking some of them down, but I want to get them all with this handgun, okay? Uh, it, the old Glock 20 hadn't shot it much lately. I kind of missed it, so I thought this would be fun. Uh, John talked me into this about, we figured around 2005, 2006. Bought it on the way. He was in high school playing AAU basketball in the summer. We were headed over to Maryville, I think. Stopped it. Oh, was that place called uh, Frontier Gun Shop or something uh, over there around Oak Ridge and just picked it up came home with it and uh, that's it's just kind of cool big old 10 millimeter y'all many of you have them and uh, many of you have seen this one in action so let's see if I can not embarrass the gun today okay the pistol all right got some ammo I didn't even bring out a holster or anything I might just put one of these in my pocket and I, I, I got to take my time. You know, this is not a, an IPSC match or anything. <laughs> take my time, relax, and bring down some big game. Now, I don't know what we're going to do if something doesn't want to fall, uh, but we'll, we'll at least hit them all. And uh, if I hit it high enough, really anything over there ought to fall. And I think we're going we're gonna to start uh, a little bit differently with this big game hunt in the future. We decided really we are not worthy of beginning a big game hunt until the gong approves it okay so we're going to start with the gong speaking of that it reminds me we appreciate all the support we get over on our patreon uh, channel from uh, those folks in the gong club okay and so without further ado i'm going to wake up the gong or i'm going to uh, acknowledge the gong i'm going to honor the gong that's really i guess what we're doing putting a round on the gong allows us to proceed okay plus it tells me whether i need to just put the gun down and go back in the house if i can't hit it <sighs> all right i guess i was assuming i'd be steady this evening who knows i might not be do i have my ears in good and tight yeah sorry about that I didn't mean to fake y'all out there All right, the gong says it's okay. We can proceed. Where you know we? I seem to start on the right side a lot, don't I? I think I'm going to start over there on the left. Those pigs, uh, kind of on the far left, three pigs there. I'm we'll starting that higher one. <laughs> Go down a little bit. Move on down. All right. Let's move across and take some of those on the lower row there. Knocks him off. Woo! Let's get that other pig beside him there. <laughs> I think I bracketed him. I had one high, one low, maybe. You know, sometimes in a video, it's funny, I'll say something like that. Oh, I'm shooting high. Uh, I know I'm going high, and then I'll adjust my sights and I'll hit it. And then I'll look at the video, 
and then in the video you all can see and i can too when i'm looking at the video i was actually shooting low so I don't know, it's, it's it's crazy sometimes i know i can't i can't tell as easily as you can where i'm hitting sometimes is the moral to that story all i know is i'm missing sometimes all right Boy, I love those pigs. <laughs> All right, let's get that turkey down there right in the middle. Oh, okay, out of ammo. This is kind of nice. Semi-automatic hunting. I think. Okay. Well, obviously those four turkeys are uh, stalking that pig, so let's pick them off. I'll get the one closest to the pig so he'll be uh, safe. I think they have something uh, inappropriate in mind. I'm going to put them down. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Piggy, I'm going to get you too. <laughs> and you too, Mr. Pig. Oh man, let's get that turkey over there. All right, two rounds left. Okay, oh, we got a pig. Let's get up there and get the pig on the top row. Boom. Mr. Buffalo. Yeah, a little more ammo. It's kind of fun with this thing. You know, these are, uh, they're known as powerful uh, handguns. That's a 10 millimeters, a powerful round with good ammo. And there's a wide range of ammo, you know. And of course, everybody has their own favorite 10 millimeter ammo. And they like to make fun of anything you're shooting in 10, 10 millimeter if it's not going at least 3,000 feet per second, right? But uh, I mean, there is some weak 10 millimeter ammo. It's, it's not a lot more powerful than uh, 40, but uh, so I don't know where this would rank as a hunting round. It uh, feels pretty pretty stout, uh, that's for sure. You know you're shooting something when you, you pull a trigger on, on this stuff. Uh, it, it wouldn't be fun shooting a whole lot of anything that was much more powerful, put it that way. But if you're hunting, you know, it's okay, you know, if you get some extra kick for a shot or two. It's not that big a deal. You know, like I am, I'm hunting. It's just that the, the finding for me was a lot easier, right? Because they were right here. And they're cooperating. They tend to stand still. Well, let's go ahead and take that ram out. Since his buddies are gone. I shot a warning shot for him there. Okay, he could have moved. He had two warning shots. All right, let's move on across. Boom. Okay, down to our last little animal, Mr. Bison. He doesn't want to fall.
<laughs> of course, I have to hit him. We've had a lot of trouble with him. Let's see, do I have another magazine? I'm going to bear down on him. It could be that he might live for another day, but I'm going to try to put a few on, on high up on his back. <sighs> Although I, I can't really tell where I'm hitting. You all probably can tell, but I'm going to try to put him up high. And uh, once he starts rocking, if you can kind of keep hitting him, uh, sledgehammer him, uh, sometimes he'll fall. <sighs> Huh. Let me try for his head. Maybe uh, you know, hitting him on the side will help, or on the end. Well, he's just going to have to live, I guess. Let's put one on the gong. And then maybe we'll uh, do something in honor of the, of the tough old bison. We'll wrap up with a hit on the gong. And I promise next time we come out, we will have a piece of artillery and uh, we will take out that bison, okay? one way or the other because there's such a thing as an artillery piece that is disguised as a shotgun and uh that would be something that we could probably even put our hands on here if we wanted to i guess we don't have any ammo out here but we'll let him live maybe for another just a second john show him the target there let me see you got a Ah, that's okay. We don't. We all got out here. We thought we did. We were just shooting some slugs, but it's uh, well. That one I think I found lying on the ground. Yeah, I don't even have a shotgun out here. So anyway, we'll let him live today. Okay, I think he kind of deserves it. Now you all know because you were John was probably zoomed a little bit on that. And you can tell how many times uh, I hit him. I know I missed him several times too. I was trying to get some kind of rapid. Uh, fire going on him there a little bit so you know that he deserves to probably live today all right so uh, it's too bad good for him bad for me i might cry tonight anyway big game hunt is just a lot of fun and it's interesting that uh, again there's so many back to reality there's so many firearms that actually are uh you know fairly suitable for you know moderate ranges you know like animals fake animals <laughs> or otherwise and a lot of people of course hunt with handguns uh i don't know how many hunt with a glock 20 but it's uh you know i'm not on my best game today but you know you can still pop those animals over there at you know 70 yards 60 yards 50 yards or various uh, uh distances uh with just a plain old ugly glock that a lot of people think are just totally inaccurate right so uh, anyway, kind of fun with a variety of firearms, and we're really glad you came out today to, to, to see the toughest bison in Middle Tennessee. You just witnessed him. Life is good. Hi, welcome to the end of the video. It's good to see you guys here. I want to tell you guys about our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. You can find them at sdi.edu. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can become certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. And they also accept GI Bill. So check them out at sdi.edu. And while you're on the internet, please also check out some of the other stuff we got going on. There's the Hickok 45 and Son YouTube channel. There's the Hickok 45 Facebook. There's the real Hickok 45 on Instagram. There's Hickok 45 on Twitter. I've got John underscore Hickok 45 on Instagram. Um, there is a John Hickok Facebook page. Uh, we have full30.com. There's our website, hickok45.com. We'll keep it simple for you. Uh, you can also find our store. We sell shirts and stuff like that on the website. Uh, there's also links on the main channel page and in the description and all that good stuff. 
Uh, and, and please be sure to check the descriptions in the in the videos every now and then because we'll put information in there sometimes uh, that might be useful to you. Who knows? But I appreciate you guys for watching the whole video. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. I'm sure that you did, and if you didn't, we'll probably hear about it. But I'll see you guys later, and thanks.